What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ollie if you are new here. So in today's video I will be sharing with you trends that I personally find tacky. Before we get into it, if you're new here consider subscribing to my channel. It is completely free and if you change your mind later you can always unsubscribe. But I hope you won't. So without further ado, let's get right on into the video. The very first trend that I find to be extremely tacky is fake nails. And no, I'm not just talking about your everyday acrylic nails. I'm actually talking about the excessively long nails that come out to like about here that are just like this long. The kind that could kill a small child or your boyfriend if he's talking back. Yes, those are the nails I'm talking about, ladies. And I find them to be even tackier when they are overly bedazzled. I'm not talking about like a little jewel here and there or like a little design on there. I totally love rhinestones, love glitter, I'm here for it. But I just feel like when you pair the five inch nails with giant rhinestones and flowers and hearts and smiley faces like it's just doing the most in a bad way also how do you wipe your butt somebody please comment below if you wear these nails like tell me how you are able to succeed in your everyday life the next trend that i find very tacky are the broom eyelashes girls why do you need these eyelashes that weigh down your eyes? Like you can't even see past them, you're gonna cause a car accident. It just really takes away from your face. You can't see your eyes anymore, they really shrink and become a lot smaller. I really like fake eyelashes when done properly. There's nothing wrong with fake eyelashes. I think they can be really pretty. Anyways, what I'm saying is next time you go to get an eyelash fill or you go to the store to pick up some falsies, consider doing something just a tiny bit more natural. They can still be really long and fluttery and pretty, but not the kind that are like brooms where you're just gonna like bat them and you're gonna blow your sugar daddy away. Unless you're just trying to blow his wallet right out of his pocket. In that case, go for it, girl. This one isn't so much a trend, but something that I see all the time and I'm guilty for that. And that is the hair tie on the wrist. Don't do this. It ruins your outfit. It's tacky. Put it in your purse, put it in your pocket, don't put it on your wrist. Not only does the hair tie ruin the outfit, but it ruins any pictures that you take later if it's showing. Especially when it's those big plastic like kinky curly ones, I put those on my wrist too. Do not do that, that's even worse. No. No scrunchies, no hair ties, no quaily little thingies, just no. Take them off and put them all in your purse. Another trend that I really hate that doesn't seem to be going away anytime soon is extremely overlined lips. Now I love lip liner, but call me old fashioned, I actually just line the shape of my lips and there's nothing wrong with overlining a little, but you just kind of need to know how to do it in the right way. If you're going to overline your lips, you only want to do it to the very top by your cupid's bow and then the bottom down here. But you want to leave the sides of your lips normal because it's when you start to overline the sides of your lips that you start to look like a clown. Ladies, remember, you're beautiful, and you don't need to look like Kylie Jenner. This next tacky trend is actually one that I noticed more so in Ireland, and thankfully it has started to go away, but that is the extreme red eyeshadow. Like the kind where you look like a vampire or like someone who's really pale and like sickly and their whole eye is just like red all the way around. And then like they pair it with like the dark lipstick or the red lipstick, or even worse sometimes, the lipstick that is so nude that it looks like you don't have lips at all. And then you're like this corpse. And then if you are doing the red eyeshadow with some of the other tacky trends that I mentioned, like the broom eyes and overlining your lips and the claws, I'm not here for it at all. The next one, and this is going to become very prominent as we are moving in to winter, and that is the orange fake tan. I fake tan once a week, but I don't find that I ever look orange, and it really kind of just all depends on the fake tanner that you buy. I know people who use a different brand than me, and I have tried that brand, and the way that it just seems to oxidize on my skin makes me look really orange, but it makes them look really olive. So you kind of just need to play around and find what works for you. And I personally like the Saint Tropez and I did do a video review on that. So if you want to check that out, I'll link it up above. Since living in Ireland, I have definitely tried quite a few different self tanners. So if you want to see me do a review on all of these, comment down below or give this video a like. The next trend that I find to be tacky is wearing very oversized clothing. And I'm not talking about all oversized clothing. It's just the way that you wear it. The way that I find best to balance out if you want to wear an oversized piece 
is you need to wear another piece of clothing that is going to be fitted. So for instance, if you want to wear a pair of pants or trousers that are oversized and flowy, that's fine, but pair with like a really cute fitted top. The contrast will be really flattering on your body and it won't look like you are swimming in your clothes. And the same goes for the reverse. If you wanna wear a loose, flowy, oversized top, wear some nice skinny jeans or some faux leather leggings or just something to accentuate another part of your body. But don't go wearing the baggy mom jeans with a baggy sweater. It looks really tacky and like you're just not well put together. <laughs> this next trend. And I don't really see it that much here, but I definitely see it a lot in certain parts of America and I am very guilty for this one and that is wearing sweats or PJs out of the house. Don't do it. And this is something I have to remind myself all the time. I love to just throw on some sweatpants and head down to the nearest gas station. And honestly, I do that all the time and I get looks because I live in like a business district area where everyone is in suits and people look at me like I am white trash. And I don't blame them. It is really white trash and tacky, especially if you wear pajamas. And back home, I see all the time people wearing like flannel or like Winnie the Pooh or like Walmart PJs and they literally are at the gas station. Don't do this. It's not a good look. It's extremely tacky. Of all these tips, this is definitely the tackiest one. And there's nothing wrong if you wanna just wear them around your house or whatever, but try and refrain from doing it in public. Thank you for listening to this public service announcement. Thank you very much. This is another one that I would see a lot over the summer and that is wearing sneakers with dresses. And I really loathe this trend. Not all the time. There are some times when it does look cute, but I really, especially if it's like a midi to a maxi dress, and then you see these big clunky sneakers poking out from the bottom, I just think that looks really grandma-ish. Like my grandmother does that. And I just don't think that it is an attractive look. Now, obviously there are exceptions to the rule. If you are going to some sort of music festival or event, but you wanna wear this cute summery dress, but you don't want your toes to get broken and stepped all over. Fine, wear a cute pair of Converse or Vans or something with your dress, that's fine. But as far as like everyday like style, I just really don't think that it does anything for anybody. I don't think it's a super flattering look. Again, personal opinion, I know a lot of girls who really love that. The next trend that I find to be tacky is wearing a lot of neon clothing. I think a little bit of neon here and there is okay, for instance, you wanna wear a neon bikini to show off that fire tan, or you're in Vegas and you wanna wear like a cute neon bodysuit or dress. In the summertime, I think that makes sense. It's more so when people try to integrate the neons into winter, and most of us are gonna be really pale, and it's just a bit like harsh. I just think neons, especially in the winter, can look a bit tacky. Now these next two are actually not clothing related at all, but they can still make your overall vibe tacky. And the first one is in regards to editing your photos. Apps that offer all sorts of different modifications, such as Facetune. Proceed with caution. Don't completely change your appearance. And I know Facetune allows you to really modify your face, where you can really just like completely change your whole look. There's nothing wrong with like removing a zit. I do that all the time. Or like brightening your eyes and making them like shinier and like sharper so the detail pops. Or whitening your teeth. But it's when you start like making your lips really big and shrinking your nose and really cinching in your waist or making your boobs look bigger. It creates this unrealistic expectation of what we're supposed to look like and it's wrong. We see it all the time, especially on Instagram. These girls with ridiculous proportions that are not real and a lot of them end up getting called out for overly face tuning. Again, there's nothing wrong with using these apps. It's fine to want to adjust the lighting and the colors and even make yourself look maybe a little bit tanner. Small little tweaks, but don't change your entire body. It's not necessary. And the last trend that I find to be really tacky is oversharing your whole entire life on Facebook. Stop doing this. Before uploading or posting something to Facebook, think about, does my entire audience give a shit? Most of the time, no. Of course, you know, we care about whether or not you got engaged. That's great. If you got married, you had a baby, some big life event, you took a new job, you're moving. Things like that are important. And of course, like anyone who is your friend or family member does care and wants to see stuff like that. Random photos of like you or like your family or whatever is fine. 
but just remember not to overdo it. I don't wanna see like 200 photos a week of your baby. Another one that people love to do is they love to really use Facebook as a platform to brag or get attention. A perfect example would be if you got this like spectacular gift from your boyfriend or something like that and they buy you like a new boat or a new car or like a Rolex and then you post a million photos and like brag about it for everyone in the world to see. Nobody cares. <laughs> it's annoying. You're obviously doing it because you want the attention. Same with if you're posting like inspirational or depressed quotes or like huge long paragraphs about like something that's going on in your life. You're looking for attention nine times out of ten. You want people to talk you up or feel sorry for you. There's just a lot of things that people don't realize that the rest of us don't really care about and everyone has guilty of this at some point I've definitely been guilty of it as well another thing that people need to stop doing on Facebook is stop posting religious and political views nobody cares who you voted for nobody wants you to preach your religion and force it on everybody else but don't try to spread it all over everyone's timeline because it's really annoying and honestly most of the time I just mute you so next time you go to post something on Facebook Think about whether or not people are going to enjoy the content, if it's useful, if it's helpful, if it's funny, or if you're just looking for self-validation. That is it for today, guys. I hope I didn't ruffle too many feathers, and if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up on your way out. Thank you so much for watching.